Hello, today I'm going to show you a demo of Gemini 2.0 stream real time. To use that, you first need to go to aistudio.google.com. As long as you have a Google account, this should load for you. And then you can click stream real time. What we're going to do is we're going to optimize a LinkedIn profile, a resume, and the GitHub profile for Sazan. And I'm going to use a prompt for that. Uh, so let me first copy that prompt and then we can start using Gemini 2.0 stream real time. So you can get the prompt in the blog post or I'll put it in the video description as well. Once you paste the prompt, we are going to start straight in the screen. As I said, we're going to optimize the LinkedIn resume and possibly the GitHub profile as well and see what Gemini has suggestions for us to make it better. So let's get started. I'm going to select the same window where this thing is. Okay. Hey, I understand that you're seeing the same low point in two different places. Can you tell me more about what you're looking at so I can give you more specific advice? Hey, Gemini, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you're on a LinkedIn profile. Do you want feedback on it? Yeah, I want feedback on this. Can you help me improve this okay. LinkedIn profile for a front-end engineer who's looking for a role in Sydney, Australia? Yes, I can definitely help you with that. Let's start with the headline. Currently, it says T-shaped software developer, front-end developer, back-end developer. While it highlights versatility, consider being more specific about what you are looking for. A better headline might be front-end developer React and JavaScript expert seeking opportunities in Sydney. This makes it immediately clear to recruiters what your main focus is. Would you like to go over more of your profile? Would you be able to suggest a different headline with the word engineer in it and maybe React and Next.js in it? Okay, how about React front-end engineer next? JS expertise building modern web applications in Sydney. It includes the word engineer, mentions React to Next, JS, and specifies your location. Does this align with your preference? Well, I don't suppose we need the location there. And I think it's better to use a different word than expert because Sazan is not really an expert, I would say, because he has re recently graduated and he has two or three years of work experience. I understand. Given that he's a recent graduate with a couple of years of experience, we might want to avoid the term expert. How about this? React front-end engineer next. JS proficiency. Crafting user-centric web experiences in Sydney. This headline keeps the focus on his skills with React and next.js, while using a more appropriate term, proficiency, instead of expert. How does that sound to you? Yeah, that sounds fine. Like, Let's go to the About section and make it better. Great idea. The About section is where you can really showcase your personality and passion for development. It should also highlight your specific skills and career goals. Let's take a look at that section together. Yeah, here you go. Okay, I'm looking at the About section now. It currently reads, I am a T-shaped full-stack engineer. My uh, expertise lies in Java. Okay, I will stop reading. What aspects of the About section would you like to improve? Can you give me an improved About section that will help me find a front-end engineer role? Okay, let's craft an improved About section. How about this? A passionate front-end engineer with a proven track record of building user-centric web applications using React and Next.js. My focus extends beyond code, to delivering business value and creating meaningful solutions. I'm eager to contribute my skills to a dynamic team in Sydney. This version is more concise, focuses on front-end skills, uses the language of results, and mentions your desire to work in Sydney. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good enough. Looking at the recent activity, do you suggest me to do something else or share something else? Yes, your recent activity shows some good engagement with tech-related content. 
To further enhance your profile, I would recommend sharing more original content, like insights on projects, articles you find interesting, or even short posts about your learnings. Consistent, relevant posts will make your profile more visible to recruiters and other software engineers. Shall we go over other parts of your profile or perhaps your resume? Will sharing things related to React and Next.js help? And do you have a couple of suggestions that I should share? Yes, sharing things related to React and Next. JS would definitely help. You could share articles on new features, tips and tricks, or even projects you've built using these technologies. Do you have any specific questions about the content to share? Do we have a couple of examples, example links I could share? Okay, here are a few examples of the type of content you could share. One, links to insightful blog posts or articles about new React hooks or Next.js features. Two, showcase a personal project with details on your approach and what you learned. Three, share a code snippet of a handy React or Next.js pattern. Would you like more examples? Yeah, that should be enough. Looking at the way that I comment on other people's posts, do you have suggestions on how I could make it better? Yes, I can provide some suggestions on how to make your comments more impactful. Instead of just saying congrats, try to add a specific detail about what you liked in their post or ask a follow-up question that encourages discussion. For example, instead of congrats guitar Thrajnish Vaishnav, you could say congrats guitar Thrajnish Vaishnav I especially liked how you used that new React feature. I have a quick question. How did you manage to handle X issue? This shows you are actively engaging and adding value. Would you like to work on other parts of your profile? Yeah, let's move on to the resume now. Okay, okay. let's shift our focus to your resume. As a technical resume writer, I recommend using the XYZ formula to highlight your accomplishments. Can you share your resume with me so we can start optimizing it? Yeah, here you go. Okay, I'm ready to review your resume. Let's aim for a clear and concise document that effectively highlights your technical skills and experience while keeping it easy to read and understand for a technical audience. Yeah, look at my resume. Can you suggest me a better summary? Okay, I see your resume. The summary is a great place to make a strong first impression. Currently, it reads, I am a front-end software engineer with over two years of experience specializing in JavaScript frameworks. Sorry, I know what it reads. Could you suggest me a better summary? Okay, no problem. Let's rephrase your summary using the XYZ formula. How about this? A front-end uh, software wait. engineer with- I didn't, suppose, I didn't suppose you need to use the XYZ formula on the summary. You can use it later in the experience. So without using the XYZ formula, can you suggest me a summary are, where it says what I do and what value can I add to the organization? Okay, I understand. Let's rephrase your summary to focus on what you do and the value you bring. How about this? I'm a front-end software engineer specializing in React and Next. JS. I create user-focused web applications that meet business needs and enhance user experiences. This version keeps it concise, mentions key skills, and focuses on the value you deliver. Does this work better for you? Yeah, that sounds good. Great, I'm glad it works for you. Would you like to work on the experience section next? Well, I'm not talking to Gemini right now. I've just, yeah, muted the recording. I think till now it has done good. There was something that I would not consider the best. But I guess till now, the direction it's taking, the sessions it's giving back is good. Uh, I think we can continue. I'll go and continue with the experience section and ask the sessions. Yeah, Gemini, let's go in and continue with the experience section and make it better with a goal to find a software engineer, front-end software engineer role. Ah, looks like it gave up, so I'll restart on with the resume again.
Hello, Gemini. Can you see my resume? Okay. Yes, I can see your resume. Would you like me to review it and provide some feedback? Yes, but before that, know that I am a front-end software engineer and I'm looking for a role in Sydney, Australia. Yeah, please go ahead and provide me some feedback. Okay, I will review your resume with a focus on your goals of finding a full-time front-end software engineer role in Australia. I will focus on making it appealing to recruiters and hiring managers. Let's start by focusing on the summary, is that okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right, your summary says, I am a front-end software engineer with over Uh, sorry. two years of experience. I know what my No summary problem, says. I am here to help. I know what my summary says. Can you give me a better version of that? Of course. Let's make your summary more impactful. Instead of simply stating what you are, let's highlight what you've achieved. How about something along the lines of, Highly proficient front-end software engineer, experienced in building user-friendly applications using React, Next.js, and Node.js. Proven track record in improving user experiences and delivering high-quality code? Would that work? Can you change it to be something along the lines of, this is what I do and this is the value I bring to your organization? Okay, I understand. Let's refine the summary to showcase both your skills and the value you bring. How about this? A results-driven front-end software engineer specializing in developing user-centric applications with React, Next.js, and Node.js. I am adept at designing efficient solutions that enhance user experience and drive business results. Does this capture what you're looking for? Yeah, it does. Can we move forward to the experience section? Yes, absolutely. Let's move on to the experience section. Looking at your current experience at AU Tech Jobs, you have great points regarding using CI slash CD, increasing code coverage, and improving Git commit readability. What do you think is the strongest point of your experience section? I think it's the Next.js code and the CI CD. With that in mind, can you rewrite the first two bullet points to make it more effective? Absolutely, focusing on those two points is a great idea. Let's make them more impactful. Instead of simply saying used CI CD, how about streamline deployment using CI CD and Docker on GCP, achieving a 50% reduction in deployment time. And for the code coverage, instead of increased next, JS code coverage by 15%, reducing bugs by 10%. How about enhanced code quality by increasing next, JS code coverage by 15%, which led to a 10% decrease in bugs. Would these more results-oriented bullet points work for you? Yeah, that sounds better. Um, Great, now... I am glad that those changes sound better. Shall we move on to the next point on your resume? Perhaps no. the additional skills set? No, let's move on to the side project. Okay, let's take a look at your side projects. I see you have a multi-vendor e-commerce website and a project replicating IMDB movies. These projects are great, but we could make them more impactful. Yes. Do you think you could highlight? Can you suggest me a okay. better description for the second side project I have? Yes, let's enhance the description for your IMDB movie replication project. Instead of just replicating IMDB movies using Python scraping and Flask, how about something like developed a web application to replicate IMDB movie listings, leveraging Python for web scraping and Flask for backend development? gaining experience with REST APIs and data handling. This description provides a more detailed view of your technical skills and experience gained from that side project. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds interesting enough. Shall we review my GitHub profile now? Yes, let's review your GitHub profile. I can see you have a good overview section and a nice display of your current toolbox. Is there anything specific you would like me to focus on while reviewing your profile? In terms of repositories and projects, would you be able to suggest me a new project that is not very common and aligns with my tilt towards cooking? Like I have interest in cooking. So can you suggest me a new project that I can put on my GitHub? Okay, that's interesting. 
Given your interest in cooking, how about creating a recipe website or app with user accounts, search features, and a recommendation system? You could use a combination of technologies you already know, like React for the front end, Node.js for the back end, and MongoDB or MySQL for the database. This could showcase both your technical abilities and your passion for cooking. Would you can like you me to give you more ideas? A couple of other ideas related to cooking that I can work on as side projects. Okay, sure. Here are a couple of other ideas for side projects related to cooking. You could create a meal planner app that allows users to input their dietary restrictions and preferences and suggest weekly meal plans, or perhaps develop a web application that allows users to track their pantry inventory, generate shopping lists based on recipes, and manages expiration dates. What do you think? Those are good ideas. I'm also interested in music and playing guitars. Can you suggest me a project and technologies related to it? that I can put on my GitHub as a side project. That's a great idea. Given your interest in music and playing the guitar, how about developing a web application for guitar tab sharing and a real-time collaboration feature? You could use React for the front end, Node.js and WebSockets for real-time collaboration, and any database to store users and tabs. Would that be of your liking? Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks, Yamine. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Well, as you could see, Gemini, I think, pretty much helped with all three things. I didn't really go through the job experience in LinkedIn, but I will try to go through it in the, in the resume. So as you can see, you can make Gemini an expert for, for things that you want to do, look, look into and then ask it questions and then, yeah, it can really help. Thank you.